Okay, I wanted to put this video together to help someone who's actually looking into putting a solar system on their, their residence or uh, anywhere in, in general. One of the important things, I think, uh, selecting a solar panel, uh, along with all the electrical characteristics, is um, tempered glass. So as I was doing some testing on an ET solar panel, it was about 255 watt panel, um, I was looking at that and I was looking at the solar world panels, um, I was between the two at the time, and so I wanted to see which, which is a better panel, and luckily I selected the, the solar world, which I'm really happy with, but um, in recent uh, events I experienced a, a small, I guess pea-sized hailstorm, and the ET solar panel just completely got obliterated. So I wanted to put out there, you know, something that you should, guys should look at if you're spending a thousand, two thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, whatever the amount of money you want to spend on a solar system, if you don't design it right, then a small hailstorm, which you don't expect or, or has a low probability of happening in your region, if it happens and it destroys your system, it's pretty demoralizing. So I was lucky I chose the right panel. I won't say lucky, but I, I did my homework and I chose the right panel, which was the Solar World. And uh, the ET solar panel, ironically, did get hit by some small pea-sized hail, and like I said, it, it obliterated it. So make sure when you're doing your research look for a tempered glass if you have any possibility of having a, any type of small hailstorm in your region which i did very low um, and you're putting a solar system on your house it's probably best to look for a good solar panel manufacturer that has good tempered glass and you'll see why in the following video all right this is the nameplate rating of the solar panel i was testing from et it's a 255 watt panel it wasn't a bad panel, just the glass obviously didn't make it, so it got tossed out and I went with the uh, Solar World uh, 280 watt panel. Alright, here's one of the panels that I bought a while back to do some uh, testing and uh, ended up going with the Solar World panels. But as you can see, we had a small hailstorm with, uh, I don't know, pea sized hail and it was pretty much sitting in the vertical position like it is right now and it pretty much destroyed it. So it looks like I got a hit here, 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 and here. And you can see it's pretty much destroyed this panel. But if you go and look at the uh, the other panels that I have, they're actually uh, almost horizontal on the roof. They survived without a scratch. So getting tempered glass is very important. If you've ever seen one of the Solar World before they bought got bought by SunPower. Have you ever seen their advertisement where they launch uh, heel balls at the panels? That's This is the reason that you want to go with a good tempered glass. So this is the panel, the Solar World 280 watt panel I chose. I also have Solar World 290 watt panels on my roof. The main reason was for tempered glass and electrical characteristics. They were a little bit more, but I think they were worth the, the extra cost. If you look at the link on the video below, there's a uh, actual a, a video for YouTube and it will show you how Solar World tests its panel and it basically launches 50 mile an hour uh, hail balls at the panels and they're, they're, they're actually quite amazing. Most of the hail balls break off and um, there's no damage to the panels whatsoever and that's one of the reasons I bought uh, the Solar World panels. By comparison is my west facing roof. They're Solar World 280 watt panels. I've had them up here about, I don't know, four or five years and you can see these are pristine. They survived the hailstorm with zero damage and they're on about 25 degree slope. So this really demonstrates the importance of tempered glass. So if you get a hailstorm, you don't have to submit an insurance claim and watch your insurance skyrocket. So again, importance of tempered glass. In my other video, I'll show you how to actually repair a panel like this if you're in the same predicament that I'm in which will bring it back to, I don't know, about 90% of its uh, capability. And if you like this video, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll put more similar content up for you guys to devour. Thanks.